Hi guys and welcome back to our FIFA 20 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. So in this episode we're going to be going through the month of December 2024 and as you can see there are so, so many games to get through so there is going to be quite a bit of simulating uh, to get through this month but we are going to be going through some of the key fixtures which are the ones we're going to be playing. We will play the final game in the Champions League group stage which you might think is a bit of a throwaway game but I think this one if we have a look at the group stage I think it will decide who finishes top. I think I I'm not sure whether I've remembered that correctly. Uh, but yeah, actually it does, pretty much. But in saying that, you know, it doesn't look as though Benfica are going to catch up. Even if Benfica do win their other game, our goal difference is uh, pretty far superior unless they win by that like, four goals to nil and we lose. But either way, it could still happen. So I will play that game uh, at or against AC Milan. I will also play the Newcastle game for obvious reasons. It's Newcastle, the time where Derby's returned. And then I will also take an Arsenal because they're relatively high up the league as well, I believe. And all the other games I will be simulating. So hopefully simulating games is on our side today. I know that some of you guys aren't massive fans of simulating games, but the main concern for us this season is the Champions League. So anything in between isn't really a priority, if that makes sense. But first and foremost, let's simulate the first game of the episode, the quarter-finals of the Carabao Cup against Chelsea. It's a full-strength squad. Come on, lads, get us the win. Get us the win. And we win 2-0. It's Keane and Parrott getting the goals. What a result that is against Chelsea. So we will be heading into the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. And next up, we have West Ham in the league. And as you can see, we're currently three points ahead of Manchester United at the top of the table. And on the right-hand side, you can see that Manchester United are taking on Man City, which could be a really important game. I kind of hope that they draw that game. That would help us out quite a lot. But we are going to be simulating this game away from home against West Ham. It's another game where we're going to be using a full-strength squad. There's a couple of first-team players that have been complaining of game time. Hoover in particular. But can we get the win? And we lose by a goal to nil. It was always going to happen. It was always going to happen at some point. But we have picked up a loss against West Ham. That is really, really frustrating. But... Still, it adds a bit of excitement to the league, doesn't it? But as I did briefly allude to, uh, Hoover has said that he's really unhappy and he wants to leave. I think because we keep rotating so much, um, which is understandable, I guess. We do keep getting really big offers for him as well. Uh, 79 million there from Juventus, uh, which I'm not going to even look at. I'll just keep playing him now, even if he's not fully fit in my simulated games. I'll keep playing him. It'll get his happiness back up and then hopefully he changes his mind. But now we do take on AC Milan in our... Final game of the group stage in the Champions League. And this will be the team we're going with. This is pretty much our second string squad. And it's still so, so strong. We have Rose in goal. We have Wagnerman, Stark, Retzos and Valerie across the back. We have Marin, Skip, Adams and Luckman in midfield. With Weyer and Silva Borrow up top. Let's get into it. And here we are at the San Siro. What a ground. What a stadium this is. And if we win here, of course, or even draw... We will find ourselves topping our group stage. Jordan Henderson, of course, leading the line today. Leading them out as the captain for AC Milan. They have Phil Foden in there as well. They have such a strong squad. Surprised to be in third, actually, considering the strength and depth that this team has. And, of course, they have Donnarumma in goal. He'll be rated like 90-odd now. He's one of the best keepers in the game, particularly for Karimo, because he's only so young. But enough of that. Let's get a result on the board. Come on. Now here is Tyler Adams coming forward. Gets in towards Salvaboro. Go on, turn him, turn him. Keep going, so keep going. Help him out. Twist, turn, find Timothy Way. Can he turn his way through? He can, it's Way. He gets a cross goal. Surely it's in. It's 1 0. The flag stays down. And it's the Ronaldo region that does it yet again. What a start this is. Eight minutes gone. And he's rattled the back of the net. Lovely football there by Way. Twisted and turning his man. Digs it inside. Easy as you like. And Barrow manages to peel off his man and buries it in the back of the net. Get him, son. And we nick it off him. I think we're trying to break forward there. And it is Luckman onto Barrow. Help him out. Get it again. Well, play this is lovely stuff. You can see Barrow. Is he onside? Please say he's onside. Knock it on again. That'll be offside. We have scored. I should have just shot with Barrow. Ah, that's a shame. Free kick for AC to get it into the box. They have hoofed it in. Get your head on it. Well played, Valerie. Here is Timothy Way now, bombing forward, looking him drive, he's got such pace this lad. Cuts inside beautifully, tries to find Silver Barrow, is Silver Barrow, still Silver Barrow, can he bend one out, he can! Oh, and it's gone just wide. What a chance, what an effort from the lad. It was twisting, it was bending, but it's bent just wide of the far post. And again, well in, well played. Luckman now, driving forward, cut inside if you can, to Adams, now you flick it on, and again... 
And again, that's lovely football. Luckman driving forward. Can he get there? He can. It's in. It's 2 0. It's a beautiful little passing move. And Luckman finishes it off 2 0 before half time. We are back to our best, it seems. What a lovely little goal that was. Great passing move. Big touch there from Luckman. Then just dinks it past the keeper. In off the post. 2 0. Corner put in. Can we get ahead on it, maybe? Punched away. Can he get it back out wide? He can. Marin dinks one back in. Can anyone get on it? They can't. They're going to get this one away. Half time. Quickly approaching. But they've given the ball away. That's where they've been. They've been so wasteful. Milan really. They've only pumped the ball into our box a couple of times. But now here is Marin. Can he drive across goal? It is Antonio Marin. It's a great chance as well. It's three. Right on the stroke of half time. And it's Luckman at the double. This is too easy. Far too easy. We've assembled a squad here that is more than competing in the Champions League. Beautiful little ball there by Antonio Marin. It's a decent finish. Couldn't really miss from there, Luckman, again. 3 0 at half time. What a performance we've seen so far. And there we go, half time. I really could not have expected any better from the lads. 3 0. Perfect. Martinez now coming down the left hand side. Tries to put it towards the back post. Can we get this one away? Yes, we can. That's all they've had, really. AC, they get down the wings every now and then. Pop a ball in, and we're dealing with it. Defending really well, but now we do have a ball that's going to find Timothy Weir, and of course he has the pace, he has the time, it's Weir, and it's another, it's four! Immediately in the second half, we are absolutely tearing Milan apart in their own backyard. It's a great ball down for Timothy Weir, that big touch, his first touch when you do that big touch with Weir, it separates him from every single defender he's come up against, because his pace and his acceleration is just absolutely ridiculous, and that was a ridiculous finish as well. Absolutely inch perfect. 4 0 at the San Siro to Sunderland. Would you imagine? Would you imagine? Only in FIFA, obviously. I don't think Charlie White could do so good at the San Siro. <laughs> Here is Jordan Henderson now. Channel Oglu. Back to Jordan Henderson. And he nearly scores against his former club. Might even be able to get a little break on the go here. Can Silver Borrow get in behind? Yes, he can. Of course he can. Look at the pace of the lad. It's Silver Borrow. Can he finish it off? And it's straight at Donnarumma. And again, again, get there first, get there first. Yes, get in, son. It is Weyer. He's one on one with the keeper. Can he take his one on first? Make it a bit easier for the angles, surely? There we go. I was just about to celebrate. And we hit the post. That should have been 5-0. What a perfect little round off that would have been. Klosterman. Oh, he's took on. Skip a bit too easily there now. The left back. Getting swim. Well played. And there we go. Full time whistle goes. 4-0. And I can't summarise that enough. Other than saying... That was perfect. We defended well, we got forward well, and we're definitely now through, we knew it anyway, to the next round of the Champions League, and we have topped the group. Get in. But now back to the Premier League, and as you can see, we are still at the top of the league, but we're only a point in front of Spurs now, because, of course, we did lose that game against West Ham in the last simulated game. Hopefully, we have a bit of better luck in this game. Come on, lads. Let's have a big performance here. Big performance. Get us a few goals. Come on. Get the win. And we win 2-1. It's Kera and Parrot getting the goals. Lacazette scoring for Bournemouth in return. But now we do go away from home to St. James's as a tyne where Derby returns to the Premier League. They did, of course, get promoted from the Championship last season. We'll have a quick recap of the league table just to see how they're doing. I'm pretty sure they were just outside the relegation zone last time. We did check whereabouts are they now. The 14th, so they're not doing too bad considering they have just come up from the, uh, from the championship and Bournemouth look at them 16 games 16 losses they've scored just 5 goals conceding 67 Jesus Christ who do they have in goal Lee Camp and this is the team we're going with pretty much a full strength side we have Rose Vagdeman Jop Kieran Hoover Barco Meyer Douglas Louise and Dembele with Parrot and Keane up top let's get into it and here we go under the lights at St James's Park as we take on our arch nemesis, Newcastle. Of course, we do have a really, really strong side in comparison to theirs, you would think, considering they have just come up from the championship. But we have just beat AC Milan by a considerable, considerable, sorry, a considerable margin. So you'd expect us to win today, but anything can happen in a time where derby. Let's see what happens here. Hopefully, it's just as simple as you like. Three points. I do have a 100% record. Well, not a 100% record. I just have never lost on this channel to Newcastle. And here is Barco now. Look at the pace in comparison to the rest of their team. It's still Barco. He does get a cross-goal towards the back post. Surely, easy as you like. Absolute piece of piss. And it's Usman Dembele who has spent, what, 90-odd, 100 million on 
and he's the one who gets the goal. Come on. He sends the Sunderland fans into absolute pandemonium right at the top shelf at St. James's. It was so easy, though. That was so easy. That was ridiculous. Defending from Newcastle. Nine minutes in and already a goal up. Here is Barco into Meyer. Way it back to Arnie Meyer. Can he twist and turn? He does hit one and he's hit the bar. Can we get another chance in? No, we can't. Oh, what an effort that was. Newcastle slowly starting to creep into this as well. I really wish that had gone in. Well aimed, Douglas Louise. And we're going to break again here. It is Barco now. He's driving straight down the centre. It's Barco. And it's. Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? Oh no, they are breaking forward though now. Newcastle. Kachinovic coming forward down the left hand side. He's drawn Kira out. Good chance, he's pulled it back. I think the chance may have gone now, but it is Sandoval down this left hand side. It's been blocked by Jop. Well, get it away, get it away. That'll do. They're actually posing more of a threat than AC Milan are. Newcastle here, and it is Jack Wilshire. Well in. Louise, can we break here? Come on. Come on, get your pace up, man. Keep going, keep going. Help him out, knock it on. Well played. And again, nick it inside for Meyer. It's Parrot. It is keen. Oh, that's terrible. And there goes the half-time whistle. And it has not been as easy as I thought it was going to be. The opening couple of minutes or the opening 10 minutes, we dominated. We easily got the first goal. But Newcastle have been right in our faces ever since. They've been putting balls into the box, running at us down the wings. And they're making it really, really difficult. Hopefully, we can see this out in the second half. Really coming at us now in the second half. Newcastle, it's Jack Wilshire now. Trying to pull the strings. He's taking on our man there. It's Kuchinovic at wide for... Former Sunderland man, Yedlin, still at Newcastle. But we make a good challenge there with Barco. Come on, let's get a break on the go. We've had nothing in this second half at all. Help him out. Come on, that's it. Calm the play down. That'll do. Spread the play. That'll do. Nicely done. He's on side now and it's Sandoval coming down this left side. Kira trying to catch up with him. He's got so much space. Surely get over to him. Good chance for them. It's saved by the feet of Rose. What a chance that was for an equaliser for Newcastle. Here they come again. Newcastle tries to find Fox on this right-hand side. Bringing it towards the byline, but we managed to cancel it out. Just get it away. That'll do. Five minutes to go, and it's all Newcastle. As we said, and they've been split open down the middle now. Really good chance. Get it away. Well played. Oh, my God. How the hell did they not get a shot away there? I do not know. We haven't registered a shot ourselves in this second half, but we are driving forward. Help him out, Nan. Move. It is Parrot. Help him. Well played. Keeping hold of the ball neatly. Waste a bit of time here. Try and find Moyes Keane. Can he twist and turn? He gets one out of his... Oh. What a save that is. But it looks as though we might be able to hold on to this now. Douglas Louise gets the ball in. Can we get ahead on it? We can't. Back in if we can. It's been hoofed away. Come on, ref, please. Just blow the whistle, man. Blow the whistle. Get it back in. Have a crack, son. Blow it, ref. Blow the whistle. There we go. 1-0 in the time we're derby. And oh, my God. That was harder than it should have been. Newcastle, to be fair to them, they battered us in that second half. Just pumping ball after ball after ball into our box. We've had to deal with it. A good save or two from Rose as well as saved us here. But we managed to get away with three points. And after that game, we will be taking on Arsenal, who are currently just behind us. It's so tight again in the top sort of four or five. Just three points separate Spurs, City, Arsenal and, of course, us. Sutherland as well. But we are going to be taking on Arsenal in this next game at the stage of my life and this is the team that we're going with we have Rose, Hernandez, Stark, Retzos, Valerie, Marin, Skip, Adams, Luckman with Weyer and Barrow up top let's get into it and here we go it's first against second at the stage of my life it's absolutely pouring it down here as we take on Arsenal can we please just get a simple win here a nice little three points and try and open the gap up a bit at the at the top of the league and away we go come on lads He's Zaracho now, just outside the box with a bit of skill here. Pulls it back for Taliso, who can strike a ball from distance. We can't get it off him. And again, it is Zaracho now. Go over to him. What a challenge that was. Well in Retzos, son. Martinelli now taking on Valerie. Back to Medley for Arsenal. Get into him. Well played. Can we break forward? What? There was never a foul in there, ref. But, and he's going to get booked for it as well. Never in a million years was that even a foul, let alone a yellow card. But Pepe has a chance to get the ball in the box for Arsenal. And he's hit the wall, which is really, really poor. Skip. Driving us forward now. It is still Skip. Finds Timothy Weyer. Go and run at him. Well played. It's still Weyer. Can he finish it? Weyer. It's a good save. It's Barro. We can't get there. Our first chance of the game comes half an hour in. And what a chance it was as well. Get over to him. Well played. Great challenge there on Bellotti. 
But now we are driving forward with Skip. Try and find Barrow. He does find Barrow. Go on, son. Keep going. Can he get across goal? He tries to and it's been blocked. So close and so tight this game. But they've given the ball away here, actually. And it is Adams from distance. Can he strike it? Yes, he can. And it's fizzed high and wide. That's lovely stuff there from Barrow. He does strike it as well. It's... Oh, my God. That would have been an insane goal if that had gone in. From Silva Barrow. That touch around his man. It's dipped, it's swerving, it's hit right the top of the bar. What a goal that would have been. And there goes half-time whistle. I think the first half of this first half was all Arsenal. Then the second half of the first half was all us. So it's a very even affair. It could go either way. Hopefully it obviously goes our way in the second half. Don't let them get the cross in. Absolutely taking the mick here. It's a great block there from Valerie though. And we give it away again. We just can't string the ball together at all in the second half so far. Zoracho now, it's a good chance for Bellotti! It's a great save as well again by the feet of Rose. Oh no, it's Zoracho again, it's been a nightmare to play against, but we managed to intercept this time. Come on lads, just get the ball forward, we really just can't get the ball out at all in the second half. Valerie now onto Adams, he flicks it on towards his man, he tries to get it in towards Wayer, can he flick it on one more time for Marin who strikes it and it's a save! First chance of the second half falls for Marin. And it's a good save from the keeper. We do have a corner though. We do whip it in. Can we get ahead on it? It's still in the box and it's going to be Nicholas Stark, the centre-back, who gets it down this left side. Can he get across in? It's another corner. Marin again puts it in towards Retsos. It's been cleared away only as far as Adams. He does strike it, Adams. And oh my God. It's gone to Durham. They're just holding on to the ball at the minute, Arsenal. They're almost time-wasting. But they are in a dangerous position. As to be said, it's Maitland-Niles now to Pepe. Getting to him. Well played, Hernandez. Let's not mess around here. But I just don't want to give the ball away immediately. Here is Skip on to Weyer. Well, try and find Barrow. Go on, son. Get a big touch. Big touch. It's not the greatest of ones. Can he flick it backwards? He can. Towards Weyer. Can he finish it? Surely he's took so long to hit the ball. Why did he take an age? Jesus Christ. I just want him to strike it. He's waited. And waited and waited, allowed the defenders to get back and get the block in. What was that, man? And Arsenal are going to hold on to the ball here, it looks like, right till the final whistle. But it is Zaracho. Carvalho who tries to go for it from distance. And of course, it bounces back perfectly for them. There goes the final whistle. Nil-nil, definitely not the perfect result. It could have been a lot worse, but what is Weyer doing there just a minute ago? I want him to just hit it with the finesse quickly, dig it out, put it in the corner. But it's take taking a good second or two to make a shape of himself, well, waiting for the defender to get back, and that should have been 1-0 right in the last minute there, but it isn't, enough complaining, it's 0-0. And now we do have two games left of the episode, which we will quickly simulate in the league table, as you can see we are level on points with Manchester City, they are only above us due to goal difference, but hopefully we can get three points on the board away from home against Fulham. Come on lads, full strength squad, get us three points, and we win at 4-0, it's Hoover, Dembele with a double and Marin as well, but Parrot did pick up an arc. Hopefully that isn't too big of an injury. And he is out for six weeks, which is really, really annoying. But he's saying that we do have backup. We do have backup, I guess. But still, Troy Parrot, he is a crucial player to our squad. That is very, very frustrating. But now we do take on Leicester away from home. As you can see, we are still level on points with Manchester City. Just one point separating fourth to first. Arsenal on 46, Spurs on 46, we're on 47, Man City on 47 as well. But can we get a win here away from home against Leicester? It is our second string squad due to fitness, but there's still plenty of good plays in there. Can they get us three points? Yes, they can. 2-0 and it's Stark, the centre-back, and Moyes Keane who gets the goals for us. And with that game, that of course means we're coming to the end of the episode, but it also means we're heading in towards the January transfer window now. Is there anything that you guys would like me to do? I'm obviously open to any suggestions. We do have five million in the bank. We do have a pretty decent amount in terms of our wage budget as well. There isn't really much we can do with that. But I'll quickly run through our players. You can see how much they're worth, etc. If you think we should maybe sell anyone. I don't really fancy selling anyone, to be honest with you. Although we do have some very, very expensive players. There we are. Rose is worth 100 and 4 million. He's rated 93. That's crazy there. Now, I'll just quickly run through the players. You can see there... Uh, we've got a couple of youngsters as well that have been coming through. As you can see here, we have Sharp and Tia, 16 years of age, can play left back or centre back. He's rated 63, he's already gone up by two, which is pretty decent as well. Uh, Puerto Pineda, we know he's a youngster as, a youngster as well who's uh, pretty decent. Some really, really expensive players we've got in here. 
Um, but we do use all of them somewhat, to be honest with you. Maybe Mumba, we don't really use that much, but he's a good little utility player to bring in as and when we do need him. We have Mancini as well, who's a youngster coming through. He's going to be, uh, he's a potential to be special player as well. We have Woodburn, who, to be fair, we really don't use that much. We could maybe get rid of him, but who could we replace him with? Uh, who's going to be worthy of coming into the squad? I don't know. And he's decent whenever we do use him. Uh, we have Castro, another youngster as well. Uh, Javier, a new youngster who I just brought in, right wing, or a cam. Uh, he, I think it says he can be potentially between 85 and 94 or something like that. So we'll um, we'll keep our eyes on him. Uh, Blanco is, of course, he's out on loan to Brighton. Silver Barro is just insane. He is not going absolutely anywhere. But that is the whole squad anyway, guys. If there's anyone you think we should sell to make some money, let me know. But as of right now, I think don't really feel like we need to. But here is the league table at the end of the episode. Manchester City at the top with 50 points. We are level with them. Just two behind them in goal difference. Spurs in third. Arsenal in fourth. And Manchester United in fifth. Now the bottom three. We do have Crystal Palace, Burnley and Bournemouth. Bournemouth managing to pick up their first win of the season. But still losing 19 of 20. Is absolutely terrible. That is garbage. But that'll be it, guys. So if you have enjoyed the episode, please hit the like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay jamming.